Back in early 2016, I was shopping at a local Coles supermarket when I heard a lady over the PA say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have a super special on salads. They've all been marked down to less than half price. I walked over to have a look-see, as did many other people, and there we could see bags of four-leaf salad mix and the like, normally around $3, going out for about 40 cents. Even so, not one person bought a bag. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because we had recently had a salmonella outbreak in Australia. Naturally, the big supermarkets had lots of stock on hand, as nobody wants to risk getting sick just to have some convenient salad mix. Many of these salad mixes state on the label that the vegetables have been washed and are ready to eat. Apparently, the water used to pre-wash the vegetables was contaminated with salmonella, causing the latest outbreak. You might think that washing the salad again at home can help, but a recent article states that washing pre-packaged produce at home could increase exposure to salmonella. Over the years, pre-packaged salads have often been at the center of food poisoning outbreaks. I guess lettuce leaves and the like are just not suitable for shipping long distances and then being put on supermarket shelves. Back in 2015, frozen berries were responsible for an outbreak of hepatitis A. Many of them are still being sold at half price to this day. I'm still very hesitant to buy any though. It was discovered that the berries were imported from China, where the hygiene in the berry packing factories was found to be subpar. So, what do we do about our food? Obviously, we have to eat. I guess the better option is to buy vegetables whole, which is usually cheaper anyway. And I don't think I've heard of anybody getting sick from purchasing a whole lettuce. For example, at Coles, they were selling a whole lettuce for $1.20 and a cucumber for the same. So for a price that is cheaper than the bag of salad mix, you can make multiple salads from the whole vegetables. Of course, we live in an age of speed and convenience where few people want to go home and actually prepare their food. That's probably the key concern with all of these outbreaks. We've become a society that demands instant gratification. Spending two minutes chopping up a lettuce is often seen as two minutes too long. It's a far cry from the days when we had to toil in the fields for a couple of months before we had any crops to eat. Oh well, what can you do? Salmonella, anyone?